playing from Monica's iPhone. Hey guys. Hi. <laughs> Happy Thursday. I feel like it has been like a hundred years since I've been on. <laughs> so um, I want to say uh, hello and say hi to everybody. Uh, hello. Thank you for joining guys. Hey, Chris. Hey, Pat. How are you? Hi guys. Hey, Bonnie, how you doing? So um, I'm so happy to be here today. You have no idea. I've been like waiting for Thursday. <laughs> I love, love, love coming on and I love kind of just um, hanging out with you guys, you know, a little bit and um, you know, chat, talk, give you maybe some things to think about, um, some stuff that we could talk about um, and just kind of catch up. So today's going to be kind of fun because uh, I'm going to do some giveaways tonight and, you know, multiple people are going to win. Yeah. So I have um, lots to give away tonight. So I hope you guys are um, up for that. Yeah. So, hey, Melissa. Hey, Lori. Hey, Keisha. Hey, Evie. Hey, Christine. How you guys all doing? Hey, Sarah. Hey, Jennifer. How are you, beautiful? I saw your video today. Lovely, darling. Uh, hi, Christine. Um, hey, Lindsay, how you doing, guys? How are you guys? So let me just kind of say hello to everybody for a second. Hey, everyone on Instagram. Hey, Chris, how are you? Oh, hey, Pat, missed you too, sweetheart. Thank you so much for chiming in. So tonight's going to be kind of like, um, you know, we're just going to kind of wing it a little bit here, but I do have some things uh, that I thought might be kind of nice that might uh, lend itself really nicely um, with what I have to say today. So, so hang on. <laughs> so hi, Jeannie. Hi, Lynn. Sandy Clark, I was thinking about you the other day. How are you, darling? I have missed you too, sweetheart. Um, you know, I think about a lot of you often. I want you guys to know that, you know, um, not because we do readings or whatever, but just this connection that we all have here. I want you to know, I think about all of you so much. And um, Sandy, I was just thinking about you. Hey, Jill, how are you, honey? Hey, Kim. Hi, Anne. Hello, Miss Chris McIntyre. How are you? I'm trying to do this without my glasses today, but I am going to read something today, so I'll have to put them on. <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm learning to let go. <laughs> so I'm just letting a couple people to kind of join in. Um, thanks, you guys, all for chiming in. Um, hi, Jenny. Hi, Laura. How are you guys doing? Hey, Deb. How are you guys doing? Um, thank you so much for joining in today. Um, thank you, Instagram, for being here as well. Um, I have a little bit harder time getting getting your names, you know, because we all have different names on Instagram here. So um, sometimes I can't read it. It's, the type's a little small because I'm a little bit of an old bird. <laughs> so anyway, um, so welcome, you guys. So today what we're going to do is, first and foremost, I want to take a moment here to um, really address something that I feel is really important that has been going on in um, the social media world that I just want to kind of address for all of you guys. And, um, you know, a couple weeks back, uh, many of you guys um, had uh, reached out to me saying that, you know, there was an imposter, an impersonator impersonating me on my page. And that was absolutely true. So first and foremost, I want to tell you that, you know, this, you know, person, you know, it's happening on, you know, social media. It's happening on Facebook. It's happening, happening on Instagram, not just with me, but with others as well. Um, and what I just want to kind of say is maybe kind of help educate you just a little bit. So here's first and foremost. Number one, I just want to tell you and explain to you, you know me, um, you know, I try to be very transparent on, um, on, on my lies. You can get to know me. Um, you know, I'm never going to post anything about a free reading and just give me your credit card. You know, I'm never going to do that. I'm never, ever going to do that. So um, what basically happened is somebody had copied and um, copied my home page. And from that, they created a page. And then they uh, went on my followers and uh, went and a uh, friend requested you guys and said, hey, you know, Monica Turling's medium is friend requesting you. And so you're like, oh, Monica, I'll accept. But here's the thing. First of all, you're already following me, right? Because so why would I why would I send that out to you as a friend request? And number two, a business page isn't going to send you a friend request. A, a business page is going to send you something to follow, right? And you're already following me. A, a personal page is going to friend request, 
Um, and so obviously here we have a copy and paste of my business page, uh, um, creating a fake account and then, you know, reaching out to you guys saying friend request me. And then after they friend request, you accept, and then they send you a message on, on direct message or, you know, um, on messenger and says, Hey, you want a free reading. And, and then they say, Hey, go to my official page. Okay. <laughs> This is my official page right here. So they'll say, go to my official page and then register, and then you're going to get your free reading, right? And then you're going to do that, and then they're going to ask you for a credit card, and it's like, you know, it's all a bunch of nonsense. So please know and understand that when I'm giving away anything, I'm going to do it right here. When you hear me speaking those words, I'm doing a giveaway. Someone's going to win. I only do it on my lives. So please know and understand I'm not giving away anything free through um, uh, any other way but on my lives, okay? So I just want to be very clear on that because I really want you guys to be safe and, and, and not, you know, go into these kind of scams. And so I'm, I felt terrible about it. I just want you to know I didn't sleep for days and days and days because of it. Um, it really, really bothered me. And, you know, because I never like anyone feeling, I never like somebody being taken advantage of, you see. And so um, it really set uneasy for me. And so what I just want to kind of do is let you know that that was not me. They copy and pasted my homepage. They created a page. They went on my Facebook um, followers. They friend requested you because it's a personal page. So they have to friend request you. They can't ask you to follow them. So because a business page is going to be, you're going to follow, not friend request. That's a personal page. Um, and obviously a copy and paste of a business page asking you to friend request um, doesn't really make sense. And so, and just know that I will never, ever do that. And I'm so sorry for any of you that received that. It's out of my control. I apologize. I just hope that you always will just also pay attention to that when this happens, this happened here, but it might happen with other people as well. Pay attention to the post that you're receiving. So a copy and paste. But if you look at that and look very legit, right? Because it was literally a copy and paste. But if you scroll down, it said no posts available. So if you really read that whole page, it said at the bottom, it said no posts available. And as you know, I have hundreds and hundreds of posts. I have so much content um, because I'm reaching out to you guys all the time. And so know that there's lots and lots of posts. So pay attention to everything before you click friend request or anything else. You know, take a few extra seconds to pause and really read things through carefully. Um, and I just want to say that with love. And I feel just terrible that happened. And um, please know that was not me. And please understand I will never, ever, ever um, message you ever um, for anything at all. Um, not because I don't love you. It's just that's not how I'm going to work. I'm going to do it all here, okay? Um, or through any special campaigns that I uh, um, do in other ways, but never through message or DM, okay? So I just want to kind of say that. So um, my apologies. Hi, Kim. Nice to see you too. Oh, yeah, Zoe's here. <laughs> do you see my dog? <laughs> yeah, so so she's hanging out with me. So um, I just want to kind of set the record straight there a little bit because um, it just really made me uneasy. And I just know I, I care about all you guys and just want you all to pay attention a little bit when those things come to just pause a little bit because some of the stuff really does look legit. And believe me, I wasn't happy about it. But my son said to me, my son said to me, Mom, listen, you know, Brad Pitt probably has like six different people that are probably you know, doing fake accounts on him or such and such or such and such and such, you know, so it just, it happens. And, but it, it, it was, it was uncomfortable, but you know, it, it happens and um, we have to just be very mindful and uh, be a little bit more aware of what's coming in and know that if you're already following my page, there wouldn't be a need for me to ask you to follow me or friend request me, right? Cause we don't friend request on business pages. Okay. So I just want to say that. Hi Jenny. Oh, Hi, Janie. How are you, sweetheart? Your first time. Thank you for joining me. Thank you so much. Hi, Laura. Hi, Patty. Hi, Azo. How are you? Hi, Tammy. Hi, Francesca. How are you, darling? Uh, Betsy. Hello, Arlene. Kathy. Hi, Joy. How are you? Let's see here. Who else do we have here? Um, Miss Sarah. Yes, the doggie's here. Um, Kathy, don't let scammers corrupt your soul. We love you and understand. Thank you, Kathy. Um, it really did set me off because I care so much about all of you and my own reputation too. And, and just, you know, really wanting to be authentic and pure and everything. And I it just oh, made me crazy, but anyway, it's the world we're living in. So we all need to do our due diligence when it comes to that. And so, um, I just wanted to start off by just 
really expressing that a little bit for you um, to just maybe give you some things to look at. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Joyce. How are you? Um, yes, uh, total scary scammers ha ha happening on social media. Yeah, it's going on all over the place. Um, you know, it's it it's just the world we're in. Um, so, okay, so let me just say, hi, Marilyn, how are you? Thank you for your email today, too, by the way. I just read it before I hopped on. Thank you for that. Um, hey, Monica, nice to be back on with you. Thank you, Michelle. I feel the same. How are you guys all doing on Insta? Let me just wave to you guys a little bit here. How are you guys doing? Um, wonderful. So I just wanted to kind of set the record straight there and just please don't know and understand that wasn't uh, me. Um, we are going to be doing some giveaways today. I'm super excited. I'm going to explain to you why. Um, so what I really want to kind of talk about a little bit today, what I thought would be kind of fun is um, I want to reread a letter from the guys. And first and foremost, I want you to know that um, next Thursday, next Thursday, I'm going to come back with um, teachings from the guides. So next Thursday, I have a channeled uh, message from the guides, um, you know, guidance from them for us. So next Thursday, um, I believe that's the, is that the 27th? When is that? When is that? It is the 24th. So the 24th, next week, Thursday, I'll come on with the teachings from the guides from Edgar. So I have a nice little uh, message uh, from them to you guys. So I'm going to share that on next Thursday at 5 o'clock Pacific time, 6 o'clock Mountain time, 7 o'clock Central, and 8 o'clock Eastern. So if you're around, you've got time, pop on uh, to hear the messages from Edgar. So I'll be doing that. The following week, Thursday, which is going to be July. Can you believe it already? It's going to be July. Um, that's going to be July. Um, sorry, I don't have all my dates. Hang on. Uh, it's going to be July 1st. Uh, I'm going to do short stories, okay? So I'm going to share a short stories from um, readings, okay? So that's going to be in two weeks, which will be July 1st. So just FYI, if you guys have time in your calendar, I'll be coming back on again a little bit more regularly again. But tonight, what I really want to do is because we've kind of been apart a little bit, you know, um, some things have happened uh, with me and some decisions and stuff that I've been making in my life. And so um, I want to kind of read a letter from... Um, um, letters from spirit and of course I've read this back in the summer time this particular uh, letter but it really um, changed my life a little bit this particular letter and it's a short letter uh, and but it it really resonated deeply with me and then I'll so I want to read the letter then I want to explain to you um, what the meaning is here in this letter what I took from it and the changes I made from it because I think that we have to kind of look at ourselves a little bit right um, as far as um, sorry <laughs> we have to uh, look at you know sometimes when we need to make some changes in our life and, and pay attention to what things in our life we need to maybe focus and pay attention on and so this letter is going to talk a little bit about that and then I'm going to tell you what changes I made and, and uh, how that affects maybe my work uh, so uh, we are going to get into that um, hello Miss Lindsay hi Tina how are you Diane hello Tracy hi darling hey Melissa um, Yay to next Thursday. Perfect. I can't. Uh, I will be flying to California that day. Sorry, I will miss it. Okay, but that's okay. You can listen. You can watch it. Um, a replay. That's perfect. Um, hey, Kat. How are you, sweetheart? Um, time flies very quickly. Yes, Abby. And um, internet isn't working right. Technician is coming to work on it tomorrow. Ha. Huh. Um, Okay, so sorry, honey, but you can watch the replay, Anne, okay? Um, all right, so uh, we're going to be giving giveaways at the end when I read this, and um, and I have a couple of tips that I've learned also about some things that might be fun for you guys to know. So, all right, so I want to kind of get into this letter here, um, and uh, again, it is a, re it's a replay <laughs> of a letter, but um, it really did impact my life, and so it has a lot to do with the changes that I've made that I'm going to be sharing, and I want you to know where it's coming from. Yeah, so um, I'm just kind of getting a little personal a little bit and I want to share in that. Okay, so um, hang tight. You guys got a second and then we're going to get into um, lots of giveaways tonight. Okay, so um, and I'm so glad you guys are joining me. Uh, thank you so much. And um, thanks, you guys. Hang on. <laughs> Love this. Hi, all of you guys. Thank you guys all for being here. Uh, good. Hi, Pam. How are you? Okay, perfect. So here it is. So this was the letter that kind of got me changing my life very shortly after I read this, but it took a little time to kind of make the changes, but um, as things do, right? But So I'm just going to read this, um, and um, here we go. 
So this letter is called Remodeling Your Life. Good morning, Edgar. What topic have you selected for today's letter from Spirit? Indeed, it is a good day, for it is always a good day. It is that many days may appear to look and feel different from another, but all days indeed are good ones. We say today that we wish to share the topic of construction. We smile as we feel you now a bit perplexed. It is that when you think of construction, you think perhaps of something changing form. Yes, indeed. You are correct. We wish to speak of construction and what it is and how you may see it in one's life. You see, you drive your streets and you see buildings being created. You walk down streets and see spaces of businesses being reconfigured. You go down streets in which you live and you see homes being remodeled. You see bridges being revamped and streets being repaved. There is, we say, much construction all around you for the betterment and improvement of your homes, cities, and communities. Why the construction? Well, it is to make anew. It is to improve upon from the previous and to add on to so it can grow for the use of it. You see that construction is all about in your world. You live in it every day. You are accepting of it as part of how things go. Would you agree? It is common for you each to see it in everyday lives. You walk past a construction site and think, I wonder how long before it is finished. I wonder what is this building is going to be and whom shall serve it. I wonder how it will look once completed. There is a curiosity to you regarding much of your construction sites, we say. Would you agree? We ask you if you have ever thought of yourself as a construction site. A place where much is being revamped, changed, and updated for you. We say that you each are in some ways your own work in progress, your own unique construction site. However, do you ever look to yourself and wonder as you do at the construction site you see and ask yourself, I wonder how I will be. I wonder how I will be of service. I wonder how this will all look. We say that you pay more attention to the construction sites in your world than you do with the construction that is happening within you each. Do you understand that there is construction going on within you every day? On sites, you see walls of buildings coming down, new walls forming. You see all old floor plans being redesigned to allow more function, more functioning floor plans to meet the desires of the space. You, you see buildings adding stories and garages. Can you see that within you too is much growth and changes happening also? You are indeed a beautiful construction site. Isn't that wonderful? It may feel messy, noisy, and a bit overwhelming to you at times, but this is how transformation occurs. No one understand that you have inner walls coming down within you. These walls perhaps being belief systems that no longer work for you, tearing down past events that left you unable to move ahead freely in life. And there is a need for new floor plans within you needing to be redesigned. Within you, in your life, through experiences that you have, you grow, and from that growing, you now need more floors, more rooms, more space to hold that expansion that you have created from those experiences you have been given. Isn't it wonderful to know that your landscape within, within you, is always under construction, creating what is needed to be more of who you are? To make more space for more that you want, you each look at construction sites with amazement and excitement of its completion and your wonderment of what is being created. But do you not look at yourself with the same wonderment of what is always being created within you for you? You have a beautiful design, an always changing floor plan for your betterment. We wish for you to see yourself as a beautiful and creative construction site. A site within that always is changing and redesigning so it can stay current for your life and how you wish to express life in it. In life, homes can look and feel outdated and need to be remodeled. Within your world, there are materials that change. And to be current, you must update and refresh your homes with perhaps a new kitchen, 
new flooring, and need for larger closets. Many of you easily understand this, yet when it comes to updating the floors and kitchens within you, you all get a bit uncomfortable. It is like walking on a construction site with no safety helmet. No safety helmet upon your head and, your, and you being careful of each step taken. Understand that change is necessary to your growth. To change and update your inner floor plan is necessary for your growth and your happiness. We say to show up in your inner construction site with wonderment, just as you do when you see any new construction site in front of you. Create those new floor plans, the bigger inner closets and larger open spaces with far fewer walls. Be excited for what is coming for you, for it will be beautiful. It is so. And until next time, there is great love for you here. Edgar. So this was um, page 57 of Letters from Spirit, and it was titled Remodeling Your Life. And when that channeled session came through me, as I wrote it, it resonated so deeply with me. And, you know, all the letters you know, there's always something you can take from them, but there's always going to be certain letters that really hit home for you uh, because of where you are in your life. And that particular letter was really um, for me. And so what I had to do, and maybe I want you to think about this for you as well, to take a look at your inner walls, your inner floor plans, your inner closets, and feel in a little bit about what may not be working for you anymore in your life. So what I mean by that is what's kind of heavy on your heart? What is it that needs to change within you so you can have more peace, more joy, more happiness? What kinds of things can you be doing in your life that can help bring you to a place where you can enjoy life in the way that your life is intended to be enjoyed? And for me, I had to really, I look deep into, hmm, what isn't working for me? Um, you know, I'm a happy girl, but there were things in my life that I wasn't very happy about. There were things that I was struggling with. And so I had to kind of take a little bit of a accountability on what were some of those things in my life, what needed to be remodeled, what things needed to be redesigned within me to create some more contentment in areas that I felt I was struggling in. So for instance, I live in a home that is a two bedroom house and my children live, and this is just an example for me and I want you to think about what it is for you. What could be remodeled in your life? And I'm sharing with you personally for me, but what is it for you? And I want you to kind of think about that. So for me, what needed to be remodeled? I live, you know, at the beach and I have a small little house, it's a two bedroom. My husband and I always wanted to live at the beach. We met at the beach, we married at the beach, we wanted to live at the beach, and we succeeded at that dream of having a home by the water. And that was something that we really wanted. But what I didn't recognize and realize was that my children were going to grow and my, my children were going to leave town. And my kids being out of state, they were in different places. And so when they would come to visit, they would come for weeks at a time. I had only one bedroom. So there was always a fight about who was going to get the bedroom and who was going to have to sleep on the couch. And as a mom, that just ate at me all the time because I just didn't have the space for my kids. And then they're staying for four weeks or three weeks or two weeks. And, you know, they're all working from home. It became very challenging, and especially during last year with COVID. And it also just made me realize how much I really wanted family close and together. And I didn't like the bickering. And um, I started hearing over and over again from my family, my, you know, my mother, my, you know, my siblings, my my kids about how I wasn't hosting Christmas anymore because I didn't have the space. Um, there wasn't enough room for my family to really host Christmas the way I used to do it. And so that was something that was very heavy on my heart. My mother, being 88, um, is now at a place where there is going to be some changes happening with her. She's not quite um, as well as she once was, and she is starting to decline. Um, and 
I don't have space for her in my home. I didn't have place for her. I didn't have a room for her if something should go south and, you know, I needed to be there for my mom in a bigger way than I currently am. And so these were things in my life that were really heavy on me. Also, having two offices, traveling two and a half hours between offices, you know, getting up at 3.30 in the morning to be on the road by 4.30 in the morning to beat traffic, doing this year after year after year. And although I love my work, it was playing a toll on me as well. I was always tired. And, you know, that driving and that commuting was playing a toll on me as well. And so I had to really look at these inner closets, um, these floor plans that I have created in my life, moving to the beach, having a smaller house, you know, that's the floor plan I created. I made that decision to do that. So that was my um, that, that was that was my floor plan, but I recognized that for me, I needed to make some changes. And that letter really brought it home to me. Why? Because I love design and I love floor plans and I love recreating. And that's something that I really resonated with that particular one. It spoke to me, but it spoke to me to ask me to look at what was not serving me in my life, what was not happy, what was not working in my life, what was making me sad, what was making my heart heavy. Not being able to be there for my mom and provide a place for her if she needed it was heavy on my heart. Not having a place for my kids played heavy on my heart. Not entertaining the way I always loved to do holidays was heavy on my heart. So there was a lot of things I needed to look at and I had to decide, was it time to remodel? Was it time to change? And so I had to look at some things and as the beach was something that was um, a bucket list for my husband and I, also a bucket list was getting um, an early retirement place, a place that we're nowhere near retiring, obviously. Um, but I always wanted something in my 50s to have something that I could already um, you know, have in line and have in place. It was always a bucket list uh, for us. And through COVID and through everything, we all have made changes in our lives. We've all been more aware of things that are going on, things we need to change, things that aren't serving us, things that we don't feel good about. And I'm no different. I had it also. And so I made the decision to um, close both of my offices and do home offices. In addition to that, I purchased a second home and I'm now, um, right now, currently in Las Vegas. So I bought a, um, a second home. My husband and I bought a second home. It's a retirement home. And it's going to be, uh, it's in Las Vegas. And I am just having an absolute love affair here. I love it so much. It's so wonderful. I, it's, it's just great. I just can't tell you how good it feels to have a home office. Um, you know, also, you know, just... You know, I work late hours often and, you know, the office that I had, you know, in, you know, down south in California, I, you know, there was oftentimes um, workers in the building when I was leaving late at 10, 11 o'clock at night, felt uneasy. And, um, you know, and also just, you know, the commuting to the other office. And so I, I was ready for a home office and um, I didn't really want to do the commuting anymore. And I really kind of wanted a space um, that didn't allow me to walk at 11 o'clock at night in a parking lot that was dark um, with, you know, um, people in their cars. And it just made me feel uneasy. And so that was just another, um, you know, thing that I had to think about. And so I decided to do a home office. So here I am in Las Vegas. So this is my home office in Las Vegas. And um, my dog Zoe has been um, hanging out with me <laughs> during all of my readings this week. I moved Saturday. So this has been uh, fairly quick, <laughs> but um, this something this has been something that's been working for many many months here, and um, I will tell you that I have you know remodeled this home. Uh, we we bought a new home, but uh, we still kind of did it our way, and so we did some personal touches to the home uh, for us that was very exciting. So I created some design and floor plans that I love to do, and I really made a space that now has enough rooms for my kids, enough rooms for my mom. So now I have a room for my mom whenever she needs something and she is requiring that. I have rooms for both of my boys. They both can have beds. No one has to sleep on the couch. And, you know, my kids are 30 and 31 and, you know, they have their own life. I understand that, but I'm just going to be honest. <laughs> um, in their bathroom, they have a Jack and Jill bedroom with a bath in the middle that they'll share. And I put two, um, um, I put two quotes on the wall. One was from Dr. Seuss and one was from The Wizard of Oz. <laughs>
<laughs> so in my heart, they're always still young, <laughs> but um, they're lovely quotes and they fit nicely in the bathroom wall, but and they're kind of inspiring. But um, anyway, so I had to make some changes. So I just wanted to let you know that moving forward, how I'm going to be doing work a little bit differently is I'm really loving doing Zoom readings. It's allowed me to touch people from all across the world, um, I, I, doing readings everywhere from India to Europe to Asia to, you know, California to Pennsylvania to um, Alabama to I'm, I'm doing readings everywhere and I get to meet the most amazing people and I love it so much. It's just has allowed me to work in such a wonderful way and I love that, but I will still be doing in-person readings in Ventura County um, in Thousand Oaks, Westlake. I have a secured a location in Thousand Oaks where I will be coming uh, several times a year where I'll be coming for a week at a time where I will be doing in-person readings and group readings. So I've already scheduled several and my next date where I'm going to be there is going to be, um, la la la, where am I? I can't see without my glasses. Um, July 17th to July 24th. So I'll be doing in-person readings. So for any of you who don't want Zoom and you um, are in the Ventura County area, Thousand Oaks, Westlake, San Fernando Valley, um, you know, Oxnard, Santa Barbara, um, any of those areas, Moore Park, you know, those areas that um, I've serviced, um, uh, Santa Clarita, um, all those areas, I will be doing um, from the 17th to the 24th in-person one-on-one readings and also group readings in your home. So in-group readings in your home, I will come to your home in any of those areas. Also, one-on-one um, -on -one readings, I have secured a location where I, a lovely little place where um, it's very easy to find and easy access and it's lovely. And um, uh, I've been really fortunate to be able to get that. And um, so anyway, that is great. And so July 17th to 24th, if any of you are interested in an in-person reading in those areas in Ventura County, um, email me and I will um, set you up with an in-person reading and I will give you the location um, once we book. Okay, so I just wanted to let you know, and I'll be doing this a few times a year. Uh, for in-persons in, in that area, in Orange County as well, okay, but this first stop is going to be in um, in uh, Ventura County, all right, so the 17th to the 24th, if you're interested, you can just reach out to me, I'll come to your home, we'll do a small group reading, eight people or less, and uh, everyone gets a reading, or we'll do one-on-one -on -one, uh, readings, okay, for some of you who prefer those, so, okay, so that is uh, what I want to say, I want to just hear what you have to say so far, because I've just been chatting away, so um, happy for you, Julietta says thank you honey thank you so much and just wave to all of you guys thank you so much I will tell you I have never felt happier I feel like just such a lift has been lifted from me I just feel really renewed I just have to tell you um uh so let me just see where we are here let me just see uh hey Gia how are you Melissa loved the letter wonderful great message tonight thanks Evie um, Evie says she needs some changes in her life too. So you know what? I share this because I want to be able to inspire you guys a little bit. You know, sometimes change can be really scary. And believe me, you know, getting a place in another state, I've never left, lived outside of California ever. And again, I still have a presence in California, but you know, I will be spending a good amount of time here in Las Vegas. And, um, you know, it's scary, right? Cause you're, you're, you're taking a leap of faith, but I believe so much that, we get guided to where we need to be. And when there is a desire that is placed within us and there's a, a need and a calling, and let me just tell you too, um, you know, when, when you feel that there's a need of making some changes, it's important for you to sit with what it is that's heavy on your heart. What is it? Like I did, you know, I had to sit and figure out like, gosh, I have so much right in my life, but what, why am I still feeling this heaviness? What is it? And I had to kind of break it down. And I think we all need to do that in order for us to find that peace within us and to, you know, create the life that we really want. We have to be willing to look at what no longer is working for us. And although for many years I loved t traveling to the different locations and I loved it, it just wasn't working for me anymore. You know, um, living at the beach was great, but then as the kids get older, now my son's getting married and now he's going to have children. And now I, I all grew that home. It's just that that could not be a permanent residence and so you know I had to look at life changing and 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 be accepting of that that nothing really ever stays exactly the same and we have to be willing to flow with that but we need to pay attention to what is it that needs to change to help us find that peace in us and 
that's what I had to do. And it started um, in the summer last year when I started really spending some time. So I paid attention to what needed to change in my life so I could be the best version of me. And um, for as a wife, as a mom, you know, as a medium, you know, uh, I, I, it's important to um, find that, that space that feels right for me anyway, and, and for you too. So anyway, I just want to kind of uh, express that. So, you know, I hope that I just inspire you a little bit. And, you know, making moves can be, you know, a big uh, change. And, you know, sometimes they could be kind of scary and making big leaps and, of faith. But, you know, you have to trust yourself as well. And let me just tell you a little little uh, tidbit here. Um, when we purchased this home, there was a home we bought the day before, before this one. We had put um, you know, a deposit down on a home um, that we saw that was really beautiful and I loved it, but it just didn't quite hit all the boxes. So I kind of went back kind of like, oh, I wasn't really sure. So I went in the morning and I meditated as I do. And that morning, um, the day after I put an offer in on that other house, I, I put a deposit down. Um, I received a home in my meditation. It was a vision of this um, great room uh, in my meditation. And as I came out of that meditation that morning, I went to my husband and I said, honey, we need to go back out today and look some more. There's another house for us. I don't think we put a deposit on the right one. Um, there's another one. I saw it in my meditation and we need to go find that house. And so my husband, love him to pieces, <laughs> he's like, okay. <laughs> so we went out and the second home we saw that next day was this home. And it hit every checkbox, it had everything that I needed, everything, he, it, it gave everything that we wanted. And um, so we went with this one instead. And I really felt guided to this particular house. I, I believe it came to me for a reason. And so I'm, so anyway, that's just kind of a little tidbit that was kind of fun. And also I had a little fun little story too to tell you about this move on Saturday. <laughs> that happened also, a little funny thing. Um, thanks, Leslie. Um, thank you, Melissa. Thanks, honey. Thank you. Zoe's in your in my office mascot. Exactly. You see her? She's always snoozing. <laughs> um, Tracy says, wonderful. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for that. Uh, Abby says, what? Such news. <laughs> um, yes, but, but understand too, you know, we're still going to have a presence in, in California, but just understand that um, I really wanted to uh, feel good about having a place where um, my whole family could fit. Uh, that was really important for me. So um, I just needed to say that. Um, also, so really kind of fun little note here uh, with, with, this, with this home. And so this is my home office in my, um, in my new uh, space. And I'm really um, loving it. And so we're going to give away some readings in just a couple minutes. But uh, what I want to just also say what was kind of funny is when we were moving here on Saturday, we had the moving guys, um, there's three of them, and they were, you know, moving, you know, boxes into the house, as you know they do. They go to the truck, they get a box, they bring it into the house, and we say, oh, master bedroom, kitchen, family room, hallway, you know, we kind of direct. And um, they were lovely guys, by the way, just super, super nice guys. And so they were kind of doing their thing, and I was in the kitchen with my husband, and I felt a father step in. And it was uh, interesting because I'm like, oh, and the song played. And prior to this dad coming in, I had asked Alexa, <laughs> Ooh, I'm sure you can tell. Um, I said, play uh, music. I have to say it quietly because I have it in my office. <laughs> um, I asked them to play a genre of a specific song, uh, a specific artist. And what the playlist ended up playing was a similar playlist of that artist, but not that artist, right? So it gave all these variety of, of different songs, which was, by the way, the most amazing playlist ever. I mean, every song was like super amazing. Like, oh my God, I love that one. Oh my God, I remember that one. It was the best music for unpacking a truck to move into a house. It was amazing. But it wasn't the playlist that I asked for. It was a different one. So the song comes on, um, Bye Bye American Pie. You know that song, right? Bye Bye Miss American Pie or Mr. Mer Miss American Pie, that, that song. And so it comes on and as that song comes on, I feel a father step forward. And I know that he's here for one of the movers, but there's three guys. So I'm like, oh my gosh, like, so I said to my husband, I said, Joe, I said, this song, um, this song, I have a dad stepping in and he's telling me that this song is a connection with his, with his son. And one of the sons 
his son is one of the movers. So what do I do? And I said, what is the name of the song? And Joe knows all the names of all these songs. He's so smart. And he tells me American Pie. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right. That, that, that's the name. And I said, well, this dad is telling me that this song has to do with a really good memory with his son. But I don't know which movie guy it is. So I don't know what I'm going to do about this. <laughs> I literally finished saying that. Like, I literally finished saying that. And my husband's like, I don't know. What are you going to do? I don't know. Jeez. Now I'm going to find him, <laughs> which one it is. And all of a sudden, a moving guy walks in. The song is playing. And the guy says with his box, a huge smile on his face. He goes, oh, I love this song. This reminds me of my dad. The best memories with my dad with this song. I just love it. Um, I just love it. He just got, he beamed up. And then my husband and I looked at each other like, there's the mover. <laughs> That's the guy. <laughs> and he just kind of came in with that. And it's exactly what the dad said. He had this strong memory with his son on this song. And there he comes in with his big smile. And so I, you know, uh, pulled him aside a little bit um, cautiously because I didn't know how he was going to feel about it. Um, and he was very open to it, by the way. And uh, I gave him a lovely little message from his dad um, in regards to that song. And so I thought that was really cute. Um, I've had a lot of spirit when I since I've been in Las Vegas <laughs> showing up randomly in places. So it's been kind of fun. They've been really vocal. <laughs> and I, I love it. So I thought that was kind of cute. Isn't that cute? Like this, I love that song, by the way. But then dad comes in and it's like, oh, my gosh. So I thought that was really sweet. And I love just how I was like, how am I going to find which mover it is? You know, because there's three of them. Like, I got to get it to the right guy, you know. And what if they both lost a dad and it wasn't their dad? I didn't want to hurt their feelings, you know. So I didn't want to bring it to the group of them. You know, I wanted to know who it was. And so anyway, that's how it was. And so I loved how the son actually came in and actually let me know <laughs> that it was him by what he was doing. So I love that. So anyway, um, okay, so let me just see here. Um, what's going on? Um, oh, they'll still be, they'll still be, be there will still be beach pictures, Evie. <laughs> We're just going to have a little bit more um, uh, skyline and um, red rocks. <laughs> um, you are at peace. Yes, Leslie, I really am. I feel so um, content and so relaxed and just so, I just feel like uh, weight has been lifted off of me. I can't explain it. It just feels so amazing. And so I really encourage you guys to take a moment and to feel into what your floor plan within may need some updating or changing or tweaking or rearranging, um, you know, and I loved how the spirit world kind of used remodeling on that one because it really did resonate so much with me. Um, hi, Pauline. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Sally. Thank you, darling. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Lori. Um, I think of you often as well, sweetheart. I uh, would love to rent my place out and experience a new town, right? It is, you know, it's something fun to do. And I just feel sometimes through last year, you know, there's my son in New York. He, he pretty much gave up his apartment in Manhattan for a year. He now has another one. but And he just sort of kind of went around and lived four months in Colorado and four months in, you know, he spent some time with us and sometimes with, you know, in, in different places. And, you know, it was really kind of neat. And so... You know, it's possible, you know, we can find joy and peace in other places, you know, and sometimes we play safe and sometimes, you know, it's familiar and it's comfortable, but is there something gnawing at you that needs to change that may or may not be a new location, but maybe it's something else. And I just encourage you to just, I just want to speak from experience that when you can look at those inner floor plans and kind of see what is it, what floor plan within you isn't working. You know, I shared with you what mine were, my mom and my, I treat those as my floor plans, you know, my areas that need to be changed. And, and, you know, what is that for you? And so maybe today take some time to kind of, maybe everything is perfect and wonderful, but if there's something that's maybe a little heavy on your heart, maybe take a look at how you can maybe um, shift that a little bit and change that a little bit and be willing to make some positive different changes that might bring you into a whole new energetic place. I know it worked for me. And so I just want to encourage you to do the same. Okay. And again, you know, I won't be full time in, um, in uh, Las Vegas, but I, I will be spending some time here. So I'll be bouncing around a little bit. But anyway, I just wanted to kind of share that with you. Uh, Zoom readings, obviously, I'm doing all the time. Um, and in persons will be selective on um, certain times of the year, and I will be posting those. And again, Ventura County um, area will be 
um, July 17th to the 24th, okay? Um, and you can just message me. So let me just see if there's something else. I have wonderful quotes today as well. So I have some lovely quotes I picked that I thought were really nice. Hi, honey. Office looks great. My son's on. <laughs> Thanks, sweetheart. Uh, love you, baby. Love you. Um, okay, guys. So let's see here. Thinking about relocating. Okay, so Juliana says thinking about relocating also. And, you know, and also like my son, Cole, you know, he was thinking about after three years of not being in Colorado to maybe mix it up and change a little bit. And, you know, and then he had to sit with that a little bit. And he spent, I would say like six, eight weeks kind of really playing around with, you know, how does Colorado feel to me? How do I like my apartment? How is, and he did the same thing that I did. And he decided that Colorado really was a good fit for him. And he feels really good and confident within himself, knowing that he made the right decision that staying is a really good idea for him. And, and that is a happy place for him. And we need to take a look at our environment, you know, and sometimes we don't need to move, but maybe we need to change things in our environment um, a little bit, or there might be different things that we just need to kind of mix up a little bit to kind of help us, you know, um, move that level of happiness, um, that radar a little bit to more joy. And, um, you know, and I could just tell you from experience, it's worked well for me. And so I just want to encourage you to look within yourself to your own floor plans. And that letter was really um, meaningful for me. So um, next week, Thursday, I have a letter from Spirit coming. So I have uh, teachings from the guides, um, some guidance coming from them next week, uh, Thursday, uh, five o'clock Pacific time, uh, six o'clock mountain time, seven o'clock central time, eight o'clock Eastern time. So join me next week for some more uh, letters from the guides. Um, uh, so, and if you guys want my book, Letters from Spirit, I think it's an ebook for $2.99 on, uh, on Amazon. If you want an ebook, I think it's like $2.99. It's like super cheap. Um, if you want, or you can get a hard, you can get a soft cover as well. Um, but um, so I want to tell you that also being in Las Vegas, you know, it's a lot drier here. So I have to tell you, I've been really into spritzing. So I've got to tell you that. So I want to tell you a good find that I found. So your skin gets a little bit dry when we're like in Arizona or Las Vegas or different areas that it tends to get kind of dry, Palm Springs, you know, different places. And I found two things that have worked really, really great. Well, three things actually. And super, super, super duper inexpensive. Because you know, beauty care can be kind of costly, right? And I, I hate to spend a lot of money on that. I, I find there's so much stuff that works really well. So I was at Marshall's. I just want to tell you, it's funny, but this thing that I bought at Marshall's, it was, it's got the price tag on it, $5.99. It is Vital Beauty and it's called Facial Serum and it's hydrating and it's, um, hyaluronic acid and aloe. And it's $5.99, I'm telling you, it has been amazing. I put it on every morning, I put it on every night when I go to bed, and it just really moisturizes your skin. So if you're ever at Marshall, take a look at this, or anything really that has uh, hyaluronic, I can't say the word, hyaluronic, hy hyaluronic, hyaluronic um, acid. So anything like that is really hydrating for your skin. This was $5.99. And it works like a charm. Another thing, another find that I found is this rose water that works really good. And it's a hydrating facial mist. Kind of makes you dewy. And it really hydrates also. This, I also bought at Marshall's. And I think it was like three bucks. Look at this big bottle. And it, I'm spritzing myself all the time. Like that. <laughs> so I love it. It's really refreshing. Also what I found, if you still wear masks and in your places where you want to wear a mask, you need to wear a mask. What I found being in the warmer weather, I take my mask and if you get it a little bit wet, you get a little bit damp and you put it on your face, it feels amazing. It feels amazing. It's like, oh my God, you could breathe so easy. <laughs> you get a little bit wet and you put it on your face. It, it feels so amazing. And also like CVS has um, small little bottles of these for like $3.99 and like cucumber mist and stuff like that. Um, and you could spritz it on here really good and it smells good and it's hydrating and it feels a little moist and so it feels good on your face so you don't break out and all that kind of stuff. So that was my find. So I found this to be really, really helpful um, when uh, we do that. And this other spritz is also, it's rose water with green tea. And this was at Marshall's also, this was $6.99. Look how big the bottle is. And I just spritz it. Oops. And I put it on and I keep one in my car and I love it. So they're really inexpensive. They work really good. So that's my beauty find. <laughs> so if you guys are suffering from dry skin or the summer being really hot, you feel dehydrated, those are really great finds. <laughs> so, and I love that mask thing. It works really well. So when you get a little bit moist. 
<laughs> so anyway, what do you think about my tips? <laughs> so I just want to say that. Hi, guys. How are you? Um, hey, Gabby. My inner floor plan is a whole mess. Definitely needed to hear your beautiful message. Thank you. Wonderful, Gabby. Thank you for sharing that. I, am, I love being able to share messages, teachings from the guides. You know, they really speak in very practical ways. And that's what I love so much about them is they keep things very simple and easy um, and ways that you can really resonate. And so I really love that about them and wonderful. And, you know, I loved how they said, too, that within your that we are a construction site within, that we, we put a lot of focus on, oh, look at they're putting in a new yard, or look at they're building a second story, or look at their remodeling, or look at that new development being built. And we're all so curious about what they're doing and what's gonna, how it's gonna be, or that new storefront's coming, what's gonna be in it. You know, we do have a lot of curiosity, and curiosity is great. There's a letter in spirit here in this book um, on curiosity, and I know that they always encur encourage curiosity for us, but are we as curious about, ourselves and you know what we need to change within us to make us feel happier and so you know i think that it's important that we stay curious in that area as well so okay so lovely thank you gabby for sharing that thank you guys all for being on here hey diane you just relocated glad i took the step life is an adventure exactly and i just think you know it's sometimes fun to have new scenery. It's sometimes fun. And I will tell you also, like in Las Vegas here, people are so friendly. They're so friendly. People are always waving, saying hello. They are so, so kind and so friendly. And it is so beautiful here. It is so beautiful here. I'm surrounded by these wonderful red rocks. It's beautiful development community. This whole I love it. It is so wonderful. So I'm just having the time of my life. And, you know, I'm working all the time here, too, but I love it, too. And my I'm, my energy is just so in, just powered up. I just love it. So um, anyway, okay, we're going to get to giveaways. So I know we want to get going with that. So we're going to do that. And I'm going to make it kind of easy, okay? Um, hi, Sarah. I started with small changes, and now I can't stop. It's been great. Love that. See, it kind of can be addicting, right? Because, like, you make a change, and it feels good, so it motivates you to want to make more changes. And then that feels good. And so that's really important. So bravo to you for making changes. Small ones, big ones, medium-sized ones. As long as we're stepping forward and we're doing things that feel good, that are good for us, wonderful. And by feeling better, it'll motivate you to, um, to want to continue uh, looking within to create more change that feels good for you. And I think that's good. So does the serum have alcohol? No. Also, it doesn't. Good answer, Evie. And also, this one is vegan. Um, this um, it's called Heritage Store. It's rose water with uh, glycerin. Can you see that? It's right there. And it's um, vegan and cruelty free and free of dyes and alcohol. It's rose water, and I tell you, it's a fantastic spritzer. Love. Um, anyway, <laughs> so um, yes, so I love it. It is. Uh, it's it's wonderful. And I, I think, like I told you, it's like next to nothing. It was practically free. So I love it. Uh, rose water is great. Yes, it is it's super hydrating. So, okay, let's see. Um, hi, Lynn. I love those tips. Wonderful. Red rocks have great energy. It really does. And let me just tell you also, I learned a couple things about myself on this move. And so when we move, we learn about ourselves. For any of you that have relocated, you probably will agree that I learned a couple things about myself. I learned that I have way too many shoes, way too many shoes, six boxes of shoes, way too many shoes. I probably only wear a half of one box. So I got I haven't even unpacked them because it's an overwhelming task. <laughs> but I know I'm going to be um, donating most of them because I, I just don't wear them. And, you know, I'm about simplifying a little bit. I think that's freeing also. Get rid of a lot of stuff that, you know, you don't need or use. It's like, what do we have all this stuff for? So that was something. I also realized about myself that I have an obsession with coffee mugs, with sayings. I have so many coffee mugs with sayings, and I love them. <laughs> They're really motivating to me and inspiring. You know, I love quotes. So um, I have so many coffee mugs that have these wonderful quotes that I love so much. And so I learned that about myself as well. Like, dang, girl, you got a lot of coffee mugs. <laughs> and I've been sitting outside um, 
in really complete silence outside. It's so quiet here and peaceful, and I just am loving that change. So wonderful. So, okay, perfect. So, um, holy shoe rack, no joking. I don't even know how many pairs of shoes I honestly have, but it's embarrassing to say way too many, and I'm, I'm learning a lesson from that. I really only probably wear 10 of them, so, I mean, all of those are, are just going to go. So, um, anyway, okay, so let me see if there's something else before we give away things. Um, okay, so if any of you guys want to do an in-person, just email me, um, info at monicaterlings.com, and I can get you on the calendar for Ventura County um, for in-person, a uh, one-on-one, -on -one or groups. Um, okay, let me just see. Also, I want to tell you, too, that this whole move, I have re-fallen in love with my husband. I mean, he is, like, what a trooper. This, I, we have just, we have so, like, not that we weren't bonded and we didn't have a great relationship, but this just really bonded us. We have had so much fun with this project. It has just been wonderful. And, um, I just love, um, just love him to pieces. So he's just my everything. So I uh, love that. So, okay. Um, okay. So I think we should give away some readings. What do you think? Um, that's what I want to do. So I have a, it's a special thing that I'm going to be doing here, which is different than I've done before. So um, we are going to do that right now. I just want to make sure. Um, and then we're going to finish with quotes. If you guys want to hang on to quotes after I do the giveaways, um, we will do that. Okay. So, all right. So what I'm going to do, I thought would be fun and something a little bit different. Um, you know, typically I always give away a little private reading for 30 minutes kind of a thing. Um, but I thought, you know, when you move, um, don't you often have like a little housewarming party? Right. Um, that's common, right? You, you, you send out a, send out a change of address kind of a thing, or you, um, you have a little housewarming party with, you know, some, um, you bring some people into your home and like, you know, kind of like Chris in the house <laughs> and, um, and do that. And I thought, you know, maybe it would be kind of fun if I did a little office housewarming in my new space. Right. So that's what I want to do. So what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to do a little housewarming, uh, where I'm going to come on for like, um, Nine, like like an hour, like an hour. And I'm just going to give some readings. And I don't know who's going to get them, um, but I'm just going to give some readings away. And I want to uh, create like a small little environment because um, I want to be able to give um, a nice experience for you guys. I want to be able to see you and all that. So I'm going to do it over Zoom, okay, uh, is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to give away 10 readings, okay? So 10 of you guys are going to win a seat to um, a uh, housewarming to my new office, okay? And I just want to kind of play. I'm not guaranteeing everybody gets a reading. I just want to come on. We're going to bring 10 of you on, and um, we're going to give a reading. So, and I'm just going to give readings, and you might get one, right? And there's only 10 of you on, so there's a good chance you'll get one. So, yay, Chris says, wonderful. Um, uh, so, perfect. So, wonderful. So, I thought that would be just kind of different to do. Um, and so let's do that. So that's what I thought would be kind of fun. So part of this, uh, my, my, my second home here, my, my, um, my early retirement place, I'm not retiring yet, but my, my new little space where I, I have an office space here and I have one in, um, in my home in Orange County, but I just want to, I thought it would be just fun to do this. So let's do that. Let's, um, let's have some fun and have a little, uh, little party, a little, uh, housewarming party. So here's how we're going to do it. I have created, um, so here's how we're going to do it. We're going to, uh, 10 of you are going to win and three of you are going to win right now online. And then the next, um, ones of you are going to, uh, going to, you're going to win a different way. And so I'll get to that afterwards because I want it to be fair. So here's what I want you to do. I have picked three winning numbers. Okay. Um, I picked three winning numbers and just to be clear, I'm not guaranteeing a reading. I'm creating a small space of 10 of us. We're going to get together on Zoom, and we're going to do it on June 26th, which is a Saturday at noon Pacific time. So it's going to be Saturday, June 26th, which is next Saturday, um, at noon, my time. So if you're on the East Coast, it'll be 3 o'clock. If you're um, uh, in Mountain Time, it'll be 1 o'clock. And if you're in Central Time, it'll be 2 o'clock. So uh, that's what we're going to do. It's going to be Saturday, uh, June 26th 
uh, noon, 12 o'clock Pacific time, 10 of you, we're gonna gather on Zoom, we're gonna just have some fun, and I'm just gonna feel who's coming in to the room, and I'm just gonna give some, some, some messages, okay? So I think that's just gonna be kind of fun. Let's see how that goes, and if it goes really well and we enjoy it, maybe I'll do one again, okay? So um, this is just uh, my way of wanting to also just say thank you, and I just need to take a moment also before I do this, I want to say thank you for so many of you that have referred people to me. Um, I have been overwhelmed with how many people have come to me as referrals from other people that have had readings with me. I have one girl that has sent at least nine or 10 people within the last couple of weeks. Um, and all of those people have also sent people. And I just, I just want to say it is the greatest joy because it tells me that you love my readings it tells me that you enjoyed your experience and I, I i you know i never you know ask you to do any of that i've never asked anybody to refer anybody to me you have all just done it from your heart because your experience was good and i just want you to know how grateful i am and i thank you thank you so much for your friends and your families that you have brought forward to me i have had so many so many referrals from so many of my clients and then they have given birth. It has just been so heartwarming and I have just been so touched because it's really the greatest compliment. And I just thank you guys all so much, whether it's been one person, two people or many that you have sent. I just thank you so much. I'm so grateful. Thank you um, for that. So let's give some readings away. Okay, let's give let's give a housewarming seat away. That's what I'm calling it. Okay, so what you need to do is uh, first of all you're going to put number one because this is the first ticket I'm selling. I'm, I'm giving I'm selling. I'm giving away. So first you got to do one. So you got to do one. So I know that this is the first seat. Okay, so you're going to put one, and then what you're going to do is you're going to put a letter of the alphabet and a number between one and fifty. Okay, so, and, well, hold on. Yeah, a number between one and 50. So you're gonna do a number between one and 50, and so you're gonna put one, so that's the, the seat that we're winning, and then you're gonna put an alphabet letter between A and Z, you're gonna pick a letter of the alphabet, and then you are gonna put a number between one and 50, okay? And then I will then tell you who won, all right? So that's what we're gonna do, so that's seat number one, go. So go ahead and do that. I wish I had a little clock. Dun, 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 dun. So I'm just going to kind of say hi to some of you guys as you guys are posting that. Uh, i got to get a pen here. Okay, do you like that idea? Do you like that idea of doing a little housewarming? Love you guys kind of getting? Okay, so let's see here. Um, okay, so the first one. Hold on. I'm looking. You guys did this excellent, by the way. Bravo. You did it perfect. I love it. Okay, so it's going to be whoever got the number or who came closest to the number without going over. Okay, that's the winner. So the winner is going to be whoever got closest to the number without going over, who got closest to that, um, who picked the alphabet correct and who got closest to the number without going over. So you have to have the right letter of the alphabet. Okay, so let's just see here where we are. All right, are we done? Are y'all good? Let's see, and I gotta look at Instagram as well. So hang on. Okay, so I gotta make a note here, hang on. If I can find out, I'm writing down the closest number. All right, hang on. I'm gonna look at Instagram now. Are we done with Facebook? Let me just see. Pauline, um, hang on, okay? So I'll you'll you'll be I'll give you another way to be able to win, okay? So hang tight. Okay, so let me just see here on Insta. What do we got here? Okay. Okay. All right. So the first winner, the first winner of the housewarming party <laughs> is Lori Gravino. Okay. So Lori Gravino, you uh, picked L25. You were 
You were the closest. Okay, perfect. So you were the closest. So perfect. Okay. Yep, I'm just double checking. Yep. Okay, so Lori, you won. Okay, so you're the first winner. All right, so that's number one. So Lori, you need to um, um, email me or message me uh, your email address so I can send you a Zoom link for next Saturday, the 26th at noon Pacific time. Okay, yay. Okay, next one. Let's go. So now you're going to write number two. So now I know this is two, so I don't get confused with one. Okay, so now two is um, okay, so. Um, Okay, so I have my number. So now you're gonna pick two, and you're gonna pick a letter and a number, okay? So two means it's the second seat I'm giving out, and now you're gonna pick a letter, an alphabet letter, and a number, all right? So let's see how y'all do. So make sure there's a two first, so I know that this is for the second seat, because the first one already got, got given away. And Lori, can you please let me know that you received this information? I wanna make sure that you know you won, okay? <laughs> hey, Debbie loves this idea. Wonderful. Um, okay, hold on. Okay, here we go. This is fun. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Okay, hang on. See you guys all post. And I want you to know there's going to be 10 seats, so there's more ways, so it's okay. So just keep working here. It's so fun to be with you guys again. Good. Okay, so let's see, are we all done? Okay, hold on, I'm looking. Okay, perfect. So, and if you don't pick the, if nobody picked the letter, I'm gonna go to, the next letter that was closest before the letter. So I'm gonna go the next letter up, okay? So without going past the letter, I'm gonna go to the next one up. So somebody is gonna win, even if you didn't pick the number, okay? Because I want you guys to be winners. Okay, so let's see. Um, I guess, what is that number? Okay, let's see here. All right. Okay, so it doesn't look like anybody picked the letter. So the closest, okay, I think we have some, I gotta check Instagram, hang on. Okay, hold on. Okay, hang on, let me just make sure that Perfect. Thank you guys for being patient. I know this was kind of boring, but I want to make sure I get you guys right. Just stay with me. Okay. I think we have a winner for the seat two. And then the next way to win is going to be super easy, but let me just check Insta. Okay. Someone else had the same number. Okay, so the winner, the winner for this is, so seat two, the winner is um, Veronica Owen. Okay, so Veronica Owen, you won the second seat. Um, nobody picked the number, it was Q8. Um, so I went to the P's and then I picked the closest to eight from P. So that was the winner. So, um, so, so, Ver so Veronica Montalvo Owen, you won seat two. You need to message me on Facebook telling me your email address so I can send you a Zoom link uh, um, or email me. Okay, so I need to have that so I can send you a Zoom link. Please let me know that you are aware you won. Okay, so I know because if you don't respond, I'm going to give the seat to somebody else. Um, on this next, on the, on the um, other 
way I'm going to be winning. Um, hi, Mary. Okay, Lori knows. Perfect. So, Veronica, are you on? Do you know that you won? You need to, you need to be here to accept. Okay. All right. Third one. I'm going to wait for Veronica because if not, then we're going to be able to get, oh, Veronica. Okay. She says it. Okay. Good. She's there. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Good. Next one. Okay. Number three, you're going to say number three. So it's the third seat and then you're going to pick a letter of the alphabet and a number. Okay. So I've got my number and my letter picked. So go. And the next way is going to be super easy. You just have to be quick. Okay, so, so far, Veronica's a winner. Lori is a winner. It's going to be Saturday, June 26th. So now we got three. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, it's kind of close. Okay, hang on. Okay. Give you another second. We check Insta. Let's see. Okay, good. Thanks you guys for playing. It's fun though, right? Isn't it fun to win things? I love to let people win things. Okay, perfect, so I think we're good. So the winner, okay, so the winner, now pay attention how you're gonna win the next seven seats. But the winner of this third seat that I'm giving away is Evie. Evie won with an S13, okay? My number was S2 and the closest was S13. So um, Evie, please message me or um, email me your email address so I can send you a Zoom link for Saturday, June 26th, where we're gonna get together and just have a nice hour together, uh, give some readings away, okay? So perfect, so congratulations to Evie. Please let me know you received this and that you know you won. And now I'm gonna tell you how you guys are gonna win the rest. I just need every yay, okay, perfect, so Evie knows. Okay, so three seats have been, um, been given, you all know you won, perfect. So here's what we're gonna do now. So now to make it fast, because I don't wanna take time with you guys anymore on Facebook, because you guys have a life to live, I understand, but there's seven more seats. This is how you're gonna win a seat. Okay, get by your computer. All you have to do is email me. The first seven people to email me is going to win your seat. Okay, so info at monicaturlings.com. Or go to my website, monicaturlings.com, go to the contact page, and you can send me an email that way. Um, and the first seven people that email me will win the seat for my little home, my little uh, home party. <laughs> All right, so we'll give some messages. Okay, is, that, is everyone clear? So the first seven emails I receive are the ones that are gonna win a seat for Saturday, June 26th, okay? So that's how it goes. Um, I will reach out to all of you tomorrow. So you will receive an email with your Zoom link and everything tomorrow uh, morning. Um, I'll send them all out for you uh, then and you make sure that you uh, keep those. And just make sure also before you send an email, make sure you are available on Saturday, June 26th at 12 o'clock Pacific time, okay? So make sure you do that. I am so excited to be able to give this little um, this little gift to you guys. It's just my way of saying thank you for all of you to be coming on and supporting me and, and, and joining in on my lives and, and being involved with Edgar's Letters and, and all of you that have done readings with me and referred people to me. And it's just my way of kind of giving back a little bit. I think it would just be fun, another way to kind of get together. And so I'm excited to do this for you guys. Um, again, I'm not guaranteeing everybody gets a reading, 
That's not what this is about. I'm just going to start feeling who's stepping in and just start giving messages to who I'm feeling coming in. Okay. So uh, that's how it's going to be. All right. So yay. So I hope you guys enjoy coming on tonight with me. Uh, I know I really enjoy being with you guys tonight. I loved it so much. I feel like it's been a hundred years since I've been on and I just, wanted to kind of reconnect, let you know what's kind of new uh, going on here. Um, I'm knee high in giving readings um, every day and I'm loving it so much. Um, I thank you all for um, supporting me and following me and I look forward to the 26th. Um, next week, Thursday, I will be on giving um, a teachings from the guides. Uh, so some more guidance from the guides. Edgar will be next Thursday, the following week after that, which is July 1st. I'll be doing short stories. So we'll come on and just kind of share ways that the spirit world heal us and, you know, and uh, how they go about doing that. And sometimes it, it's always through the messages. And so I always like to kind of share a little bit. Obviously, I never share names or anything personal. Um, but I do believe that it's important for us to understand that the spirit world is wanting to heal us and helping us forward. And I know that we gain healing also through other people's experiences and their messages. And so for me, this work is always about helping us all forward and healing us in the way that we can. And I know that through messages and even other people's messages, we will receive some love and so we'll feel into some of those messages for ourselves as well. And so anyway, so that's going to be it. So next Thursday, I'll see you again. I hope you can join me. Same time, same place. All right. Uh, the dog might be with me. Not sure, but maybe. <laughs> so I don't know. Can you see him here? Let me just see. Can you, can you, there he is. Okay. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> the dog is following me all around the house like 24 seven. Like the dog is so exhausted from following me everywhere. <laughs> All right, guys, any last questions at all? I just want to say thank you all for coming on forward. Uh, Christina says, thanks for next Thursday. Perfect. I'll see you guys there. Um, you're welcome, you guys. Uh, make sure you guys send me out those emails. For seven, we'll get the seats. Um, for you three, also make sure who won the seats tonight, please message me or email me, please. So I have your email address. I can send you your Zoom links, okay? Love to all of you. I thank you so much for being a part of tonight. Um, and I hope you enjoyed. I know I enjoyed being with you guys. Okay, and until next Thursday, we'll see you again, okay? And until then, love you guys. Bye.